Oh, what's up? What's up? I'm just doing a little test on this thing. Um, I set the monetization up on it. I was trying to see what it's gonna do, so I won't be before you long. But um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I was ex I'm excited. I've been excited all day to see that Brittany Griner is home, y'all. Um, how do y'all feel about it? Um, while I'm while I'm on here, just doing a quick little test. I was trying to see, do y'all see like a little, do y'all see any type of monetization buttons? I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something different. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, let me know if y'all see anything on here. But um, I just set it up, put all of my information in, how to get paid and all this stuff. So I was trying to figure that all out. I don't know what I'm doing on here. But, you know, like I told y'all, if it don't make dollars, baby, it just don't make no sense. So, um, how do y'all feel about Britney, y'all? This was a nice surprise. Um, I feel like, you know, um, they did a good job of keeping this under wraps and working behind the scenes. I know a lot of people were saying that the United States wasn't doing anything, um, you know, regardless of how you feel about Joe Biden, you know, he did his damn thing. He got a home, right? Um, especially for a person who um, she went to another country and she violated the policy. You know, a lot of people kept forgetting that. Um, so regardless of what you think about Joe Biden, thank you for letting me know it's just showing the animation. Regardless of what you think about Joe Biden, he did his damn thing. She is home and that is on period, right? Um, it didn't take for Trump to be in office. He got it done. He got it done. He and Kamala, they got it done. And that's on period. So I am so um, happy. And I know she's happy. And they've been working behind the scenes. And um, if you go to the reading that I did on her, I told you guys, when we pulled the hermit card, I think it was the hermit card. I told you they were working. They were working to get her out. And that it was going to be sooner rather than later. I told you guys that they were determined to hold on to her, right? That she was being used as a political pawn. And they got the guy that they wanted to get back, right? It's amazing. It amazes me they can help her, which I'm happy for. But why they have? Why do we have people in the U.S. that are incarcerated for the same thing? But you remember, um, they just did a new policy where they're releasing a lot of people for the same thing. Remember that? They did that last month. So a lot of people that were arrested for the same thing that she was arrested for. Biden signed something in. Um, he did something in legis. He did some type of policy change around that. And a lot of people that are in jail for the same thing that Britney's in jail was in jail for. He's allowed those people. He he signed something to have those people get out. Now, you got to remember, some of those people have other situations going on. Um, so that means that person could, you know, you might have a, you know, you might have got arrested for weed, but you might have a theft on your record. You might have like some traffic tickets. We don't know what their personal situation is, but um, he just signed something. If anybody remembers that, he signed something about a month ago or two months ago where people with the same situation with Brittany that have like minor infractions for that. Or whatever that is, he's letting he he signed something in office saying something about those people were gonna get out. But again, you know, you got people that be um they got people that be having all kind of other stuff going on, child. When they be in jail, child, that's a revolving that's a revolving door. Some of the people be in jail for weed, they be in jail for DM, uh, domestic violence, they be in jail for hell, all kind of stuff. We don't know what the people be doing, girl, you know. So you can only help people when they want to help themselves. Now, if you in there for like a little minor we violation okay you might fall in that category but shit if you you constantly in and out of jail constantly in and out of trouble then you go to jail you're doing stuff you don't have no business doing it's so many factors guys so you know there's only so much a person can do but you know we as, as as individuals we as adults we have to do our part you know so i'm just let me just say this i'm so when i say i literally had tears in my eyes for her Cause you know, remember when I did the reading on her, I was really one of those people that was like, why am I reading on her? She, she, she violated a policy in their country. Y'all remember me saying that at the very beginning, but I went ahead and I did the reading and 
And I feel like I'm just so happy and so, you know, I was, I had, I literally had like a, literally a tear in my eye for her. Just imagine you being in that crazy situation over a little bit of weed, but you in another country, that's their policy. And at the end of the day, they got what they, they got their, their guy back. They hugged that guy. They, they were excited to have that guy back. If you looked at that, um, that greeting on the tarmac on the, at the airport, they were happy to have that guy back. So they played it out until they got what they wanted to. And they, and they held on to her. Just like I said, they're determined to hold on to her. I kept saying that they're determined, they're determined, but she's home and she is back in the building. And I know her wife, her wife is beautiful. Isn't she a beautiful brown woman, huh? Her wife is beautiful. When I saw her wife standing up there with the president and the vice president, I thought, wow, that is a beautiful little shade of color, right? Um, to see a little brown skinned woman up there like that. I thought that looked beautiful. She dodged a bullet that uh, they was about to make her a slave. Wow. They've been um, wanting him back. I read upon that guy. Yes. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, guys, this is a perfect example of people still have to take accountability for what they put themselves into. I know as a as you know black community we want to get behind people you know power to the people fight 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 but she put herself in that situation you know so at the end of the day you know she has a, she only she has herself to blame for that but I'm glad she's home and safe and secure with her family and um people want to actually get to get to see her in the United States and so I think she should at least go live and I do feel like she's going to at least make an appearance so people can actually see her face, not just the back of her head, but actually see her face. So you know, she's actually physically here. Right. So I'm super excited about that. I also saw where Shanquella's father um, took to his uh, social media to say that he felt his daughter was, um, you know, was lured to that location and that it was over jealousy and envy. We talked about that as well on our last reading uh well second to our first reading on Shanquella. um so make sure y'all check that out because we talked a lot about the fact that you know should stuff like that really be happening people be jealous they be envious and they create a situation for you they'll lure you into something to do you something her natal chart is very interesting right now too and very telling give us a little tea on that natal chart what's what you see in there you know go ahead and give us a little bit of tea on that natal chart i'm interested to see that is she going to learn her lesson? Is this something that, you know, she's going to, is she going to be humbled by this experience? Is this going to be something that she's going to take and advocate like her wife was trying to do? So tell me what she's going to do. Hey, Kitty Von Licious, what's that? Those natal charts are beast, huh? They really be on point. Um. So anyway, yeah, so uh, I saw Shanquella's father, you know, he, he came through and he talked about how he felt that they were jealous of her. And I said the same exact thing. I said the same exact thing. Moving on, Nia Long took to her, you know, did a little interview on her situation with Emmy Udoka. And once again, she's talking about how she felt the Celtics could have done right by her. I guess I'm conflicted with that because, you know, hell, I've been cheating on before in my life. I don't remember my employer. You know, I don't remember the person I was dealing with. Employee called me and said, you know, hey, girl, how you doing? Um, I, I heard so-and-so was cheating on you. You making it through? Um, I think she's, uh, she's got, <laughs> you know, people don't give a damn about you, like, period. I don't care if you've been at a house, if you've been at an event, if they've given you season tickets or whatever the case may be, is business. And they have the right to do whatever they want to do. I think they could have done it differently, but hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But she's, you know, this is when you, this is when you know somebody has an entitlement issue or an entitlement thing going on because, for her to think that this company needs to be concerned about her and her children while her man cheated, right? What happened to saying, you know, I felt that Emmy put me in this situation and Emmy, uh, you know, Emmy put me in this situation. Why the, the, she should have been the, the name she had, she should replace the Celtics with Emmy's name. He put you in the situation. He met somebody else. He decided to cheat. He decided to take his little dingling and put it in somebody else, not the Celtics. So at the end of the day, what she should have said was, Emmy put me in this situation. Emmy created um, this problem. Um, and the Celtics did whatever they felt they needed to do. 
You know, th- th- this is why I just be feeling like people don't hold the right people accountable. She's very entitled. Remember I told y'all that uh, my husband actually um, worked on a project with her and she was very entitled and she was very demanding. Um, she didn't want some of the women on set to be in, you know, on the set. Um, she was very envious and competitive with a lot of the women that were there. That's real. So the fact that she thinks she can, the fact that she could fix her mouth to talk about the, what the Celtics should have done is, is very shocking to me. Cause I mean, all of us have probably been in relationships where we've been cheated on. I, I don't think any of our ex's employers called us to say, um, ask us how we were doing. Right. I mean, she, she, I don't know what, what planet she's on. And a lot of people like, you know, what she's talking about is that, you know, she probably was in the presence of these people and, you know, these people probably invited her to their house and made her feel welcome. Oh, well, girl, you can't trust people in your everyday life. How are you going to trust them? Them people don't know you girl wake up but that's when you say you know and they can dance around accountability too my son's a scorpio son yep you know that's what i'm saying but you know you're gonna sit here and say the celtics did this and the celtics did that girl bye the, how much would my daughter be saying what she be saying be so for real be so for real what are you talking about neil long be so for real girl bye you know but uh these people gotta call you and tell and and ask you girl how you doing how you making out i know emmy cheated on you is there anything i can do for you girl be so for real (laughs) girl if you don't go sit down if you don't go sit down baby you ain't that girl shit You, you you really think you that shit you that chick clearly What's up, Dr. Coat? What's that? Dr. Coat NYE? Yeah, they never want to hold a man accountable. She ain't never said nothing about holding Emmy accountable. She's going to talk about the Celtics. Nia Long, I like you. I really do. I like your movies. You know, I've always liked your, your energy. You know, I like what you be given on, in terms of your career. But girl, you up here trying to hold the, the Celtics accountable? You better get Emmy Udoka name in your mouth somewhere. And then, and for the record, um, I also said that that relationship was going to eventually end as well. So anyway, I try to post a little prediction stuff on here. I try to, you know, make sure that you guys go back to the video. Um, you know, uh, she's, uh, 10 years, a fiance, they probably figured she knew it's unreal. Hey, let me say this. When you 10 years, a fiance girl, the writing is on the wall. Scorpios are allergic to a certain degree of accountability. Girl, y'all be tearing Scorpios up. Scorpios don't get no, they don't get no mercy. Y'all be on Scorpios like I be on Kanye and uh, Tory Lane's ass. Y'all be on Scorpios, baby. Okay, a Scorpio ain't get nowhere with y'all. Yeah, I just did. I just did a couple of clients today, and they was on <laughs> one of my clients today. She was on that Scorpios ass. Y'all do not give them Scorpios no mercy. Scorpios have a bad reputation. People get real irrational when their feelings get hurt. Period. That's true. Y'all don't be giving them Scorpios no love. Them Scorpios be getting tore up. They be getting tore up. But Scorpios, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna generalize. They got a lot of sneaky ass Scorpios, and that's 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 the T for real. They sneaky as hell. They live be they be living double lives. They be love bombing you, then they'll turn around and, and and be acting like you did them something. When they cut you off, baby, they cut you off. They will put their foot on your neck and and, and 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 put your your head in the ground. When they cut you off, baby, they cut you off, baby. They're gonna block you, they're gonna block your mama, your daddy, your granny. They're gonna shut it all the way down. Okay. Scorpios ain't no joke. They're going to be acting like they so, and girl, when they enter you, they enter you. When they not, baby, we might as well give it up. Let me switch up. Um, let me see. I love them, though. I birthed one. True. They're so lovable, though. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to bash my fellow water sign. <laughs> girl, bye. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm a cancer. You know, cancers could be moody and irrational and sometiming and child. You know, we could be, we could have our moments too. We can have our moments too. But a cancer, you know, a cancer gonna always, you know, eventually come back around and make sure you good. You know, even if a cancer, you know, block you after a while, they're gonna take you off the block list. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna want to know that you're all right. Even if it's ten years from now, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna snoop on you and make sure you're still living. But see, Scorpios, when they, baby, when they break up with you, they're going to they gonna put their foot clean on your neck, okay? And that foot going to be firmly placed there for several, several months and possibly several years. <laughs> and that's on period. And another thing about some Scorpios, just since we're on the topic of Scorpios, they have a lot of narcissistic Scorpios, too. They don't take accountability for their action. They will sit there and be lying and scheming and cheating and then try to turn that shit on you so fast. It'll make your head spin. They'll have you thinking you're doing the wrong, right? Now, you only reacting to the action. You only reacting to the action. But they'll have you in jail thinking you do it, having you about to commit murder. And they're the ones that was dead wrong the whole time. Mm, mm, mm. So, Scorpios ain't no joke. They ain't no joke, baby. They'll have you messed up. Look at the uh and 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 they can go they can get off the deep end. Let me say this: you saw how uh, Erica was acting on that show. Like they can go off the deep edge. They can be they could lose it too. What's up? The pie was nasty. That's my sister, y'all. All right. So anyway, back to um. But anyway, I'm gonna try to figure this monetization thing out because they did they sent me they just sent me another thing saying I can get monetized off my reels. So you know how I be putting the little reels together with the music and the pictures? They said I can get monetized off of that. They said I got approval for monetization, period. So I'm gonna figure this all out. Cause I don't mind getting on Instagram and, and doing videos and readings and stuff, but I gotta be getting some coins from this situation. Um, you know, um, period point blank. Scorpio's live live for petty drama, and that's on period. Mel and Martel, you saw the last episode. I haven't been watching them, girl. That's why I haven't been on Martel ass. Should not usually be on Martel ass once a month, but I hadn't been on him. Um, I haven't been watching the show. That's why the Lord had me birth one instead of date one. Ooh, period. You're reading. You did. Ooh, accurate. Which one was that, girl? Which one? Which one? Which one you talking about? Queen Green Supreme. I like y'all's name. I be liking when people have spiritual names. I like that a lot. I wish I could change my name. Um, I like Blue Nola. I would like to keep the Nola, but I wish I could. I wish I could change it to more of a spiritual name. Please do a reading on the Real Housewives of Platonic, please. All right. I don't know what's going on with them. All these women messy and color, you know, a bunch of colorists and just a bunch of messy old women. Thank you, Queen Nola. Yes. They had somebody got on my channel one day. Hey, Shelly. They had somebody got on my channel one day and their name was Queen Nola. I said, girl, you're not the queen. I'm the damn queen. What you doing over here? What's up? What's up? Just Keisha. Fabs. Kisses. What's up? I've been, it's been a while. Yes, ma'am. It's been a while. Shelly Denver, 303 in the building. Oh, y'all, don't forget. I still have a few $50 appointments available. It's filling up, though. It's filling up. Don't forget. This is the December sale, y'all. Five questions, $50. They've been booking that crap like crazy. Not crap, but they've been booking like crazy. I only have a few spots left, y'all. I only have a few. And I wanted to tell people, too. Girl, where you been at? Your ass been missing in action is Cammy. You been missing, girl. Oh, also I wanted to tell everybody too, you can buy more than one reading. So for example, if you wanted to do two readings at the same, if you wanted to do two readings, you can do that and you can combine them. So you can make your reading like a lady was asking me today. She's like, can I do two? I was like, sure, you could do two. And now you, you purchased a hundred dollar reading and you get 10 questions and we're going to go at least an hour plus so you may get more questions than you you know you may get more questions so if you want to do two but just try to put the time close together so if you do one for like 4 30 make sure the other one is at 5 35 
I mean, yeah, 430. Make sure the other one is right behind it so that we can keep the times together. That way, if you want to get more a full hour and, and you want to get 10 questions for a hundred dollars, girl, yeah, do that. So there's still more spots left. BlueNolatero.com, BlueNolatero.com for the December special. Um, your side keeps buffering. Anybody else buffering? Ritual highs. What's going on? You be you I always see you on there showing support. Anybody else buffering? I I'm I'm looking good. I don't know about the buffering girl. Um, are you in a bad area? I don't know. But yeah, make sure that you um hey Morgan, what's up, Morgan? Make sure that um make sure that you guys um check it out, bluenotetarot.com. Want to get a birthday reading soon. So, all right, Kitty Valicious, I'm going to be ready for you, child. All right. Let me see. What's that? K R K straight eight flexing. What's up? Sin Sin. Your name is Cynthia. What's up? Who are you? You go on YouTube? All right. I have to keep starting over. That's crazy. Well, it's, it must just be on your end, Shelly. You spoke about the deep regret Martel would have and speaking on it. And he was so different, and it was a humbling experience. That's good. What's up, baby? Y C K two. What's up? How you doing? Um. Okay. It's not buffering on my end. I think it is. Um. I think it's Shelly, y'all. I don't think it's us. I think it's Shelly. She said she had to keep Shelly log out and then come back in. That's that's what she should do. Log out and come back in, cause it's not me, girl. I've been rocking and rolling. All of my readings, my video requests been going in on time. I've not been having as many problems with the Wi-Fi as I used to. The device that I use, I cleared everything out. I reset everything. So, you know, I have been kind of like having, I've been, I have been struggling with my video uploads because the Wi-Fi had been, you know, acting up on me, but I cleared everything up. I cleared everything up. And now I haven't been having as many tra tra challenges with the Wi-Fi. So everyone is getting their video readings literally on time or maybe an hour ahead of time. So I'm so delighted about that. So it's not buffering on my end. Not me laugh out loud. Okay, good. All right. So that's the only thing I had. Y'all y'all have anybody y'all want to ask about? So we talked about Neil Long. We talked about Brittany Griner. We talked about Shanquella. Robinson, let me say this one more time. The guy who got arrested for takeoff's death, he's he is affiliated in some kind of way. Do not take your foot off his neck. Don't just think he got set up. Know that he's he knows something. Let's not let's not do a Tory Lane situation. He's not arrested for his health. The other guy's not arrested for his health. He knows something. Regardless of the situation, he needs to share what he knows. I don't want us to start, you know, feeding into the narrative that he's just innocent. It, it, just remember what I say. I'm telling y'all, he knows something. There's, he's not in jail for no reason. These people didn't just pick him off the street because they just felt like um, that he looked like the person that did it. I'm telling you right now, he knows something. He's associated with someone, some, somehow. Do not fall into the social media narrative. I don't care. What, I love Houston. What's up, Houston? Y'all are my neighbors. Y'all are my third biggest clientele. Do not, do not feed into the narrative that this man is completely innocent. He's trying to get a private investigator. Boy, you sound like a whole fool. You trying to get a in private investigator, but you just was trying to get an emergency passport and run into Tahiti. Let make that make sense. Why is this man? Why was he trying to request an emergency passport to run to Tahiti? I don't I'm just saying Tahiti to run wherever he was running. Remember what I said, if I don't say nothing else, he knows something. He knows something. So don't don't just start getting into the narrative that they got an innocent man in jail. That's a BS. He knows something. He has some information. He's associated with it somehow, some way. Remember what I said. I don't, I'm, I'm telling you right now, people can't pull a will over me you, and all that going to court, asking for private investigator. That's, that's a way, that's just kind of like Tory Lanez. That's the way to get people confused. All right, Chris, I've been offline for a bit, but you have to read on Shanquella. Um, I have two, I have a, I have an actual reading on the channel 
And then I have a podcast on Shanquella. So go on the channel and look for it. Um, there are many readings, but they're they're still good. Um, let me see. So don't just think, don't just think this man is just some innocent guy that was roaming around the streets and somebody just picked him up because he looked like, you know, he looked like he was affiliated with. No, there's something to that. Just came in. Who are we talking about? Um, we're talking about the um the guy who uh was uh finally arrested for takeoffs uh murder. I'm saying don't let's 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 not feed into the narrative that um let's not feed into the narrative that he's completely innocent. Can we get a reading on Tory Label? Why he keep posting? Tory Label? Oh, Tory Lanes. <laughs> huh? Uh, he keep posting because he keep. He, let me say this. Tory Lanes. Tory Lanes is the ultimate gaslighter. Tory Lanes. It's amazing how we just let people just bullshit us. Tory Lanes just had an incident with August Alcina and literally said he didn't do it and he wasn't there. He's the ultimate liar. He's the ultimate gaslighter. He shouldn't be trusted. They have a recording of him. They, these lawyers said they got a recording of him on the jail phone saying he was asking for forgiveness. He was asking them to forgive him. They have his text messages saying, showing that he did it. Tory Lanez is a liar. Tory Lanez is narcissistic. If you believe Tory Lanez, then you need to just be, you know, you need to believe the, 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 you need to believe the, the person in your life that lied to you the most. Because let me say this, he is a liar. He's going to play this game out. But this is what he's trying to, this is what he don't understand. When it really gets in that courthouse, the jig is up. The jig is going to be up. I just want to see the twists, the turns. They have, um, they have, uh, what's the girl named Meg? The Stallion's friend is actually testifying for the prosecution. I don't know if y'all know that. So she's testifying for the prosecution. And let me say this too. We keep saying maybe she did it. Tory Lanez, and I took a screenshot of that. I'm going to find that screenshot and I'm going to actually post it. Tory Lanez even said out of his own mouth on his own Instagram that the girl, what's her name? Kelsey didn't do it. That was on the shave room. I'm going to go back and look for that. Tory Lanez literally confirmed that Kelsey did not shoot Meg. So why is he allowing that narrative to run now that he's going to court once again, gaslighting and lying? I'm going to go back through the shave rooms post and I'm going to find that post where he actually took to his Instagram and said that Kelsey did not shoot Meg. He cleared that girl herself himself. So why all of a sudden we, we believe in that, oh, that Kelsey did it when he himself took to his own Instagram and said that Kelsey didn't do it. So if Kelsey didn't do it, who did it? We got to stop letting Tory Lanez gaslight us. This boy literally said on his own Instagram that Kelsey did not shoot Meg. I'm going to go back and I'm going to find that post and I'm going to post it. But we're going to sit here and run to the net with the narrative that maybe she did it. Then when he went to court, he tried to put it on her. That's probably why she turned on his ass and went with the prosecution because she realized that, her, that his team was trying to say she did it. That's probably what really happened. Because remember, he said on his Instagram that she didn't do it. And then as the trial started to ramp up, then his, then his lawyers started saying she was involved. So he was trying to put that on her. And that's probably why she ran over to Meg's side because she realized he's about to set her ass up. So at the end of the day, I'm going to find that post that he posted himself on his own Instagram saying that that Kelsey did not shoot Meg. He actually said this. And I read that. And I took a screenshot of it, but it's on one of my old phones. I can't remember, but I'm going to go back through the share room post and I'm going to find that and I'm going to repost it because he actually confirmed that himself. So we can't believe nothing that boy is saying. He's a manipulator. He's a liar. He's going to do everything he can do to stay out of jail. And what's, what's mind boggling is, is that he's going forward with this trial instead of taking a plea deal. Because now that they added that third charge, that means they're going to try to get him one way or the other.
That third charge means we're going to get you one way or the other. The gun is for Tory, period. So at the end of the day, I don't have no mercy for him. And what's so shocking, there's so many black women windmilling for this man. This man has put his hands on August Elsina. He put his hands on a man named Prince. He got into a hit and run accident with a pregnant woman. He had another gun situation even a few years ago. He has multiple incidents with multiple people, yet we keep trying to see the best in this man. Go look up his history. He like go look up his history. He had a restraining order and continued to get on social media taunting Meg the Stallion and even showed up at an event that she was performing at, knowing he had a full restraining order. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, y'all shouldn't be believing nothing nobody said until it gets to the court. They said he put his hands on his baby mama. Child, that's what I'm saying. Court, Tory Lanez has been in so much shit. It's shocking. Go look up his history. He had a hit and run with a pregnant woman. He put the paws on August Alcina. He put the paws on um he put the paws on August Alcina. He had another man he had an incident with in a club. He had another person, he had another gun, another gun incident too. He was in trouble for a gun incident before this incident. He had another gun incident. Go look it up. It's 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 public knowledge. Right? So, at the end of the day, I don't know how people keep windmilling for this guy. I just don't get it. It's like, this is how so many black men can get away with crime and murder. And their mama be sitting in court. He ain't do it. My baby ain't do that. That heifer evil. Yeah, right. I know that's random, but Justine Sky, the artist. Why does her career seem to want to take off? I don't even follow her, y'all. I don't follow Justine Scott. I don't know what Justine do. I don't, there's nothing about, I don't, I don't feel no way about Justine. I'm, I think I know who you're talking about. There's just nothing about just, I don't know Justine's guy. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, what, like Kiki Palmer, if I saw walking by, I wouldn't know a thing. <laughs> I wouldn't know a thing. Child, I don't know everybody. And especially like these little seedless, celebrities these little c-list artists i mean if they're not making waves child bye since then well kiki and her boyfriend last they seem to be pretty much in sync i noticed they took it off the social media and they're more private we can do a reading on that i just love my little kiki when she was akila in the b hey 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 ricky bay 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 yes i love akila all right so we can do a little reading on them i'll do it on the channel though so uh let's see this weekend i have some free time so we'll probably go live and do us uh probably just like we did the last time but we're actually not it's not going to be a podcast it'll be an actual uh reading session where we'll be doing the cards so we'll add kiki and her boyfriend and anybody else that we want to ask about and so we'll just do it like we did the last time what's up the moody crab are you a cancer what's up She's the moody crab. Or do you just like crab legs? What's going on here? All right. I don't know. The moody crab. All right. What's up, Tila? That is work. Where's that? Work it selfie museum? That's Tila, y'all, from YouTube. One of my moderators. She's on her business page. She is a selfie museum. What's up? R-W-H-I-730. Child, we don't know who you is. We just know you 730. All right. All right. So anyway, I am literally out of here. Um, I'm about to watch this. Um, uh, I'm actually about to watch this documentary with uh what's that girl's name? With Prince Harry and uh Meghan Markle. It's on Netflix. I'm about to watch that right now to see what they're talking about. What's the tea? What's the energy? What's she giving? I'm going um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and and watch that. That man looked like he happy. That man looked like he happy. He happy to get away from that shit. That man looked like he happy. Okay. Okay, okay. That man looked happy to get away from them people, child. He looked happy. He looked comfortable. He looked at peace. 
Child, he look good. Straight, not right with her. Something not right with her. Oh, child, nobody likes the woman. That man look happy, though, y'all. That man looks so happy and peaceful. You know, when they be with the royals, they be looking so tense, like they constipated. That man looks so easy, relaxed, happy, comfortable. Child, that man ran out that palace and, and, and found his life. That man that ran out the palace, and he'll never be king because it's going to go to Prince William. And then if something happens to Prince William, shit is going to go to his son, then his daughter, then the next child. So it's got to go through all of Prince William's children before it can even get to Prince Harry. So Prince Harry might as well live his life because he'll never be the damn king. Not that you're living to be the king, but shit, you'll never make the decisions. You'll always be a supporting player. So go ahead and live your life. Come in America. Do your thing. Y'all saw that picture of Prince Harry? He looked like he had a little GQ cover. Baby, he was looking real cute on that picture. I promise you that. Okay. That man was looking real cute on that little GQ little photo. It was like a little profile picture. Baby, he was looking so cute. Mm -mm -mm. But that man looked nice, comfortable, and relaxed. Looked like he ain't worried about it then. Period. And he, he out here doing what he want to do. Living his life. And you can only have money if you are the king. Ooh. Yeah, because they give you like as the uh as the supporting player that everything is kind of given to you and rationed to you. And you gotta kind of live this. I mean, I'm gonna watch this special, but they look like they that girl was even saying she couldn't even wear certain colors. So if the queen wore a color, you couldn't wear the color. And then if and it was a hierarchy. So as people, you had to like even a color was a problem. To the point to where she had to say, well, wh what colors don't they wear? Oh, they don't wear beige or brown. So then she started wearing beige and brown to be safe. Like anytime you can't even wear purple because somebody else is wearing purple. You can't wear green because somebody, that's just that's, that's, that's too stupid. You know, look look at Charles' brother. He's bright. He's broke. Oh, he's broke. Okay. Good evening. How you doing? Good evening. How you doing? CJB. Yes, I'm doing good. That's too much. Yeah, you can't even like wear a color child. All that drama going on. Like, girl, I would have cursed everybody. That, girl, let me see. I couldn't have been my make a marker baby. Cause I would have went up in there with my ghetto New Orleans self. Girl, shut y'all shut, shut the fuck up. Sit down. Tired ass hoes. You should why why we still have a monarchy? Sit y'all ass down. Get to work. Get a job. Cut this shit out. Ain't nobody. I ain't about to call you no queen. Elizabeth, Charles, William, Kate. That's your name. I ain't about to call you queen, princess, or king. Get out of here. You saw those NBA players, right? How did y'all feel about the worlds being at the game? It's like, uh, anyway. <laughs> when you be reading on book, Spare comes out next month. When will you be reading his book, Spare comes out next month? Oh, okay. He, you talking about Prince William's book? I can check it out. Girl, yeah, I've been a curse some mouse. Sit y'all ass down. We talking about, I ain't about to call it Prince who, Prince what? Nobody. Girl, bye. Girl, I'm going to wear this purple, girl. Go sit down. You wear your purple, I'm going to wear mine. What you talking about? I can't wear purple. Oh, you want to touch my hair? Girl, sit your ass down. Oh, I'm black? Okay, that's great. I am black. Black is beautiful. Them NBA players did not care, did not care whatsoever. I think it was the comments about the kids' skin tone that did it for me. Yeah, I would have cursed them out. See, black people and people of color, even Hispanic people, babe, you can't talk about people's kids. That's a fight. When you talk about somebody's kids, you liable to have your hair pull out your head. You liable to have a black eye. You liable to, child, you cannot be talking about people's kids. So that's a whole fight talking about somebody's kids. You know, I know somebody that was talking about somebody's kids and they got beat up. My mama beat somebody up when she was in school. Uh, she was in, I can't remember what school she was going to, but she was young back, younger back then. When somebody said something about me and my sister, she beat them up. Yeah, they crossed the line. Yes, Harry's book. Yeah. But yeah, those people, they, you know, hey, you, you, you go read the history of those people. None of that should surprise anyone. And what did they have in the monarchy for? Get a president just like the president of the United States and keep it moving. But those people want that. They like having the, that, that, that situation. They're used to that. They grew up with that. They're accustomed to that. 
You know what I'm saying? They grew up with that. But anyway, I'm going to watch this on Netflix and um, check it on out, see what they're talking about. And um, I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion about that situation. Is there any other person y'all want to mention before I get off the line? Because I'm about to go, y'all. Benefield Enterprises. What's up? Benefield Enterprises in the building. Child, I'll be seeing a whole bunch of weird people follow me. They titties will be out. They ass will be out. Let me say this. If y'all happen to listen to this video, I'm going to block you. I don't want to see your titties, and I definitely don't want to see your ass. So don't come following me. This is not the page. Okay? I don't know where you're coming from and why you're over here, but don't follow Blue Nola Terror. As soon as I see you with your titties showing and your ass showing and doing something provocative, I'm going to put you on the block list. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. I don't even know what that's all about. Tory Lane's getting dragged on Twitter. Okay, let me go join the club. I'm about to go join the party, girl, because you know I'll be staying on Tory Lane's neck. What do you think about Netflix Wednesday series? I don't know. You be asking a bunch of stuff. I don't um I don't be watching some of that stuff. I be I be watching a lot of other stuff. I don't be on Netflix like I used to. I be on HBO Max. The Idaho Four. I have to look that up. I be on HBO Max a lot. I don't be on Netflix like I used to. I don't know about the Idaho Four. What the Idaho Four did, somebody, something serious must have happened. There's some energy related to death. Some type of deception. Idaho Four. What's up, Almighty Mystic? I like your thumbnail and I like your name. Almighty Mystic. Sunflower is seedless. The sunflower is seedless? I wonder why you chose that name. The sunfl sunflowers is seedless? Let me think about this for a minute. That means the sunflower has been open? Is 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 the sunflower is seedless? The seeds have now sprouted? There's no more seeds? I don't know. Okay, four college kids were killed. That's what I'm saying. It sounds like death and deception. That's what it was coming to me in my energy. Okay. All right, now y'all trying to put me in a put me on the path of destruction. Um, the four college kids that were killed, the kids that got killed in their home. I need to look that up. It just felt like death and deception. I know. As soon as I read the name, what's up, Erin? Established in eighty four, girl. You must have been born in nineteen. What is that? That's the Erin Yag. Born in nineteen eighty four. What's up? Why you name your name Sunflower Seedless? If the if I get some sunflower seeds and I open it up, I'm gonna eat that seed and it's seedless, or is it the sunflower the plant? Let me stop being so so foolish. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this name out. Sunflower seedless. What's up? What's up? You in the building, Erin? All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to look that up. All right. Anybody else? Something I might know. Oh, you thought it was cool. Because I'm trying to figure out why the sunflower is seedless. You know, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the energy around that? Now, y'all know my name Blue comes from some artwork that I love. Um, I explained it on my Instagram further down. There's some artwork that I love called Blue Dog. And it's all over New Orleans. And so that's why the name Blue, I chose the name Blue. And of course, NOLA is New Orleans, Louisiana. So that's why. Let me see. Miss Pied Mon, how you doing? Parker School for you. What's up, girl? That's Tony. Listen to you. Get the bottom of the, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh out loud. Listen to you. Get to the bottom of the sunflower is funny. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? What's going on with the sea? The sunflower. See karma. So C karma, the word C, S E A, like the C karma. So do that means that the, the, the karma's come in waves. You never know when it's coming, but it's coming for you, baby. It's coming for you. That karma always come. That all that karma's gonna come to you tenfold in waves. What's up? How you doing? C karma. Now we know why Parker School for you, Parker School you, because her daughter's name is Parker. So I know about your name. That's Tony. Tony, you need to get with me about your son's date. He missed his date. 
um and i told him to look on the schedule and select a new date and just email it to me so if you can email me the date that he missed recently and then email me another date for the date that you missed the last time because i have two appointments that y'all need to catch up to um that would be great i was actually going to email you today wednesday series is good okay i'm gonna check it out what is it about miss t jones one wednesday series is this some cr true crime energy what's this about what's this about wednesday series what's that about i'm picking up true crime energy tell me what this about confirm it for me um miss t jones adams family what about the Adams family? The Adams family? Oh, the Adams family. Oh, that's foolishness. Oh, I see. So that must what that must be somebody getting killed in there? Is it sinister? Is it like what's going on? Chris is me Shonda. Oh, Shonda Adams. Okay, this is Shonda Adams. Is this Shonda Adams? Yes, it's a crime. Okay, I'm just picking up crime. Look, I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm just trying to read through the energy. I'm trying to read through it. Shit. <laughs> All I know is I'm picking up. I pick up little messages and I'm just speaking it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, this is Shonda Adams. What's going on, Shonda? See, karma. Say a prayer for me. So I can pass my class. Ming Lee. What's this class you um trying to pass, Ming Lee? What is this class you're trying to do? Nursing? What's this class, Ming Lee? Let's put a prayer in the chat for Ming Lee. Put what class you trying to pass, Ming Lee, so we can all say a prayer and put a prayer in the chat. Father God, we pray that Ming Lee pass her classes um what's what are you going to school for pat class her research class and this research class is related to what career that she passed her research class that she uh her that her mind is steady that she um that she connects to her classes and that she does well we pray that she um can have balance in that journey you know, I've taken a lot of tests too, and I know it's nerve wracking. The main thing is, is what? Get a good night's sleep. Make sure you study. Stay focused. Go to grad school for mental health counseling. Yeah, it felt like medical field. That's why I was asking, was it nursing? Thank you for confirming. Um, yeah, so we pray that you, we pray that you make it through. The main thing is, is that take your time, not take your time. You know, I, I, when I take a test, I study everything about that test. How long is the test? Uh, you know, other people that have taken that test, do they, do they think the beginning of the test was complicated? The middle was complicated. I try to go to the ones that, um, I try to go to the qu questions that I know I know. I go back to the other ones, right? If I feel myself getting anxious, I just take a minute to just, um pray and just you know just you know center myself you said chris you be on it you did say nursing yes yeah that's what i'm saying it's not I, I i just try to read through like when you tell me stuff so when you're doing your spiritual work if you're doing readings for people i don't need the cards guys i do the cards for visual effect i, I do love the cards though it, the cards give me that extra confirmation. I love dealing with the cards. I love shuffling the cards. The cards actually, I, I even when I'm talking on the phone with clients, I just I could be I just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I like the energy that it gives me. But I I can actually sit here and if you put stuff in a chat, I can I can feed through it. I can read through it. I love your readings. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Erin um yeah so make sure like i always tell my clients especially the people that are really trying to tap in just say what you feel say what comes to you say what comes into your energy comes into your spirit what just just say it just say it and then even if you get it wrong nothing's perfect nothing's perfect i have missed the mark a, a, a time or two i am not perfect i am not god right um 
So if you make a mistake and if it get it wrong, okay. When you think about the big picture of it all, if say for example, if you did um and I'm I'm you know, if you did for example 30 30 requests and out of 30 requests you didn't get one of them quite right. And it may not just even be the whole thing. It might be just one thing that you said in there. That's okay. If you don't read on it, I don't believe it. Laugh aloud. Period. <laughs> yeah. So, for example, I could do a reading on somebody, right? I like. Let's take the blue face reading. Um. Oh, you recommended my daughter tweak her resume. And you were spot on. So she got a job. So she got the job that she wanted. So, um. Today, the greats book sales for the Parker. I'm waiting on the results you predicted from the GMA lover. Good. That's great. Parker is a model, y'all. So Shonda's daughter was trying to find a job that she could connect to. So when we did her reading, we talked a lot about making some adjustments to her resume, her cover letter, doing some things that she can kind of that were helpful to her to uh, help her with her 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 career. So that's what Shonda's talking about. See karma. Um, okay. So I don't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, but just connect to whatever you feel. Oh, I was saying, so for example, take the blue face reading. Um, I said that blue face would, uh, was going to, that blue face was truly connected to that situation. He was, I talked about the fact that it, if it was something that was in the club that possibly spilled out, uh, into outside of the club. That's true. I talked about, uh, he felt the person was being, uh, that was in his space. That's true. The only thing that did not, that wasn't quite uh, on point was the fact that he got out, right? I said that they may try to hold him. But when you look at every aspect of the reading, if I said five things, one of the five things didn't manifest for it. That's what I'm saying. Don't be discouraged by that. You're not going to be a hundred percent perfect on some things. You referred your mama. You were spot on with her reading. What's your mama name? What's your mama name? What's up, K N N Smiley? Swalls, hottie, for real, for real. Baby, she thinks she hot. Girl, go sit down. She thinks she hot stuff. Spoil, hottie, for real, for real. Look at these words. She's spoiled. She's a hottie. And baby, it's for real. Okay? Periods. Doris. Doris. I remember that name. I remember Doris. And I don't have a lot of Doris. A lot of Dorises. So I remember her. Yep, Lena. Lena, girl, you just booked. I just saw, uh, I just seen, I think you just booked the other day, right, Lena? I think you got a booking coming up soon. Yep, Ming Lee laughing. I be looking at y'all's name. Those names be telling me some child. Let me see. La Vie and Rose, 1804. La Vie and Rose is French. La Vie and Rose, 1804. There's a movie called La Vie and Rose, right? About a French singer. Isn't that not true? Um, so what's up with you? You trying to do something? <laughs> what's she doing? She got Levy and Rose. Okay. Hey, this is oh it's Cammy. This is my regular client this is one of my this is my number one client this is my girl chloe in the damn building okay period she said yes y'all see how i be knowing stuff look i be knowing stuff especially french movies i be knowing stuff y'all my life is a rose leve and rose 1804 so i know exactly what you was trying to accomplish over there girl but you know what I liked about that movie and that lady? That lady really, like, she got it out the mud. And that lady really kind of, like, you know, when I watched that whole thing about that lady, that lady really got it out the mud and just transformed her whole life. I just I just hate the fact that she, um, I just hate the fact that she let her life kind of spiral out of control towards the end behind a relationship and, and other people. This is my spiritual page for all of my spell work stuff, period. Now, I do have a second channel um, that sessions with Nola, all right? My life is rosy, period, point blank. 
All right. But she is lovey and rose. All right. All right. So I'm out of here. I'm about to go watch this special with Meg and Harry. I'm about to watch the dynamic between them two and see if this girl is manipulating this man. Or, you know, if he just, you know, he didn't finally say, fuck him, I'm tired of these people. I'm about to live my best life. I'll never be king. I'm tired of the rules and regulations. I can get out here and I can get it. You, get, you know, you know, he tapped into his in his uh, inheritance from his mom. And I believe he got some money from um from his position. And so he's he set. He set. He set. He good. Regardless, he good. Yeah, he got out of there like the people is chasing him with a machete. All right, so I'm out of here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, what it be? Oh, what it be? Mm, what what do it be, child? Oh, what it be? Just join us. I bet you real inquisitive. Just call me Sheikha. What's up, Sheikha? Just call me Sheik. Chris, night. Chris, talk to you soon, period. Supposedly the grandma left money too. That's what I'm saying. So he good Destiny's child stand. Is this um is this Kelton? Destiny's child stand. Who is this behind this profile? Just Destiny's child stand. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on that. Harry reminds me of most of my uh, most of his mom. True. Was Casey Anthony telling the truth about her dad killing Kaylee? Um, I think there's some truth to that. I think that there's some truth to that. I think there's some truth about the molestation part. How about that? Let me rephrase it. Oh, what it be? You be in everybody's business. I'm talking about, girl, what it be? What's the situation? What's going on? What had happened? Okay, Mila Mitchell. What's up? Um, Rainy, Renique. What's that? Rainique? How you doing? I think it helped clean it up. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think he helped clean it up. I think there's some truth to what she's saying, though, y'all. Don't, like, when people be saying stuff, a lot of times people be protecting predators. Y'all have to remember that. Think about your own families. Think about other people's families. Think about situations where stuff like that happens. People will protect the predator in a minute, especially if he's the head of the household. So just make sure that y'all, you know, we, I, I go into situations really, if I, I, I have family members that follow me on this thing, believe it or not. Um, so I'm not going to speak on it, but I have a, I, I, myself, I have a family situation that was very, very disturbing, not happening to me, but somebody in my family. So I don't believe she just making this up. Okay. Right, she ain't got nothing to lose at this point. She's already she can't be convicted twice for the same situation. And saying this is not gonna clear her of anything. People still don't trust her. So just know that I feel there's some truth to what she's saying. Two two one eight three. What's up, two two baby? What's up? What's the situation? I don't want to say much, but she received an offer letter. Oh yes, indeed. Isn't that beautiful, those nice offer letters? Hi, congratulations, we've selected you. Here's your salary. We look forward for, to, to working with you in the future, period. Tell I say congratulations, see? I kind of fussed at you a little bit. Um, and I felt bad, but I, I was feeling bad about it, Shonda. But I was trying to say, you know, like, we can't just sit back and let things just happen, you know, yeah, it's, it's nice to, you know, we, we we do readings and we things just happen. But I was like, get out there and get busy. And that's what I was saying. Like, don't just sit down on, you know, you got to put the action behind it. And I'm so happy for her. Mona Lisa, what's going on? Uh, Queen Supreme. Okay, what you talking about now, chair? But anyway, I'm out of here. I'm going to leave this up. What's this person? Who this is? K. Day Bay Parker. What's going on with this Katie Bay Parker? How you doing? Oh, let me see. In my crown. Well, she thinks she a queen. Okay, girl, do your queen thing. She in her crown, okay? Put that crown on. Walk tall, walk proud, walk strong. You got this. 
All right, I'm out of here. Um, let me stop messing with y'all's names. Um, on this social media platform. Now I know that I got, I did activate the monetization button. Um, so when I go live, I can do the monetization. And then, um, and then when you, when I put a reel out, like when I put a reel, <laughs> what I done, Miss Child? You ain't doing nothing, Child. I just say, hey, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa smile. Um, so when I put a reel out, make sure y'all watching that reel so that I can get my coins. Okay. It says, what's, what's for G? What, what's this? What's UG? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Hey, Blue Nola. And what did I miss? Not much. Mona Lisa's gorgeous, period. I don't know if this person is what's up. G is doing a throw up. I don't know what she doing, child. <laughs> what are you doing? What's you, what's up, G? What are you doing? What's this face as you make? Is that throw up? Is that a throw up? Or is that a money face? I don't know what's going on. Paris. Fur. What's going on? Is that paradise? Okay. That's the money emoji. Okay, I'm going to say, baby, what is you throwing up about? I didn't say nothing. Period. Let me stop. Money, 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 money. Okay, the my, I'm like my eyes, I'm, I'm looking at the screen. All right, I didn't know what was going on, child. I thought I was on YouTube. You know how they be going crazy in the comment section. And I just have to quietly take them out of there. Y'all know I used to be on YouTube fussing. I didn't calm down. She's what she says. She's laid the look. She slays the look. Girl, what you slaying over there? You must be slaying the hair, the nails, the eyelashes, the makeup. Baby stepping out in full effect because she's slaying the damn look. You must be in the beauty industry. Okay. Or you must like beauty. All right. So. I'm out of here. I'm tired of messing with y'all. <laughs> I'm out of this damn place. Y'all have a great day. Take care. I'm going to figure this out. I, I just activated that monetization. I hooked, I hooked everything up. Now I just need to figure out what the hell I need to do. And then I'm going to get on TikTok too. My sister's saying I'm missing some opportunities. What's up, Jerry Jameson? That's Jerry Jameson. I know you um, my sister said I'm missing some opportunities not going in at TikTok. But if you notice, there are YouTube readers, TikTok readers, you have your Instagram readers. Everybody's picks their little area. Everybody picks their little area to be. Who is this? Jackie Poole. What's up, girl? Jackie, I know you. All right. Let me see. Wait. Instagram just sent your notification. Damn it. Damn Instagram. Wake up. God damn it. Instagram be sleep. All right. Well, I'm out of here. Y'all can listen to the playback. I'll leave all of these up now unless I go sideways and I'll pull it down. Other than that, I'm going to leave it up. Do it all, Chris. Do it all. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I need to do it all. But girl, let me tell y'all. I'm a cancer. So there's only so much energy I can take before I have to get back in my, my damn chill. I can't be all over social media. Mm -mm. I can't be all over social media, girl. I barely can run the channel right now. I'll be on the channel. I'll be like, oh, I got a headache. <laughs> oh, I got a headache. All right. I'm out of here, y'all. Have a good night. Take care. Stay blessed. And I will see y'all soon. Peace. Or I'll talk to y'all soon.